Welcome to another Nusita video. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell, never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our certified QA experts will reply in time. It's never been easier to manage tests at scale than with X-Ray Test Management. X-Ray is a Jira native software test management app that ensures your testing and development teams are collaborating to achieve the highest quality products. With X-Ray you'll never deliver broken or untested code again. X-Ray is a comprehensive test management solution that uses Jira native issue types to specify, organize, plan, and execute tests. With X-Ray you can create your tests and add preconditions, organize them using the test sets or the test repository, plan your test strategy, and finally execute tests and report the status. To begin here, the number one thing to understand is how to launch the test case import wizard. Now, there are two different ways to do it, but of course, there's only one option. But there are two different places from where you can launch the same process. Number one, you can navigate to the testing board and you will find an option here. Under the three lines of your test repository, but just not the test repository. There are several options under that if you just click on this, right? The three lines here give you different options to deal with the X-Ray instance altogether, and you'll find an option called Test Case Importer right at the bottom. Now this is the option which you launch from the testing board. In the same way, if you click on the app section on the top and navigate to the X-Ray app, you will find a similar option right here at the bottom that is called Test Case Importer. Now if you click on any of these options, it will lead you to the same wizard. So there is no difference between these two options, but importantly just giving you different ways to reach out to the one important option. But before we get started with this, let me just quickly give you an overview of what exactly we will be trying to import. And if you remember, we have been doing this for quite a while now, so we are pretty much familiar. So, if I open a particular test, we need to remember what details we have here and what details we would like to import. It's completely dependent on you, whether you would like to import the summary, the test cases, the steps here, for example, the action, the data, and the expected result. If you have added any custom fields, and if they are mandatory, that's certainly required to be imported, and other things are optional. On the right-hand side, there are some JIRA standard fields, which you would also like to import, then you can pretty much bring them into your data as well. Now just to confirm, before going on importing, I'm taking you to the full issue view. That is all issues, and just trying to tell you that we have the last test as MFP35 and the login test for the app, right? So, we'll be naming our test in a different manner so that you don't feel like these tests were already in and import did not happen. In fact, the dates will try to tell the same thing that the last import has happened, or we just created a test today that is August 29 and will not be importing on top of it some other new test, right? These are all my tests as of now and altogether, we have all 35 items in our instance. And again, this is just to make sure that you have a good belief in this standing. Yes, it happened right in front of us. Now, that's it. Let's jump on to something where we are supposed to prepare the data. I'm using an Excel sheet here to prepare my data, where I'm giving some column names, which are specific to the names of the fields in JIRA as well as X-Ray. Now, as we will be directly importing test steps in JIRA, some of the things can be excused, for example, issue type. If you're importing issues in JIRA, for example, stories or bugs or anything else, then you must explicitly define the issue types. But as we'll not be using that option, rather using a test case importer option within X-Ray, you can exclude the issue type. And just to show you that we don't have to mention it, that it is a test, or it is a test set, it will just continue importing a test itself, because we are defining explicitly the option as a test case importer. Also, issue ID is only to differentiate or tell X-Ray that there are four steps under the same test. Okay, 
do not misunderstand it as an issue key in JIRA, which will be auto-populated by JIRA itself. This, you don't define them here. This is just to tell X-Ray that, hey, the first four rows belong to the same test. Don't put them into a different test. Right, the next column is summary. Of course, a new test must be created. So, the summary is required and I'm calling it out as test one, sign up validation, and test two, sign up validation again. But I'm giving them a format like test one and test two. Then, if you also remember in our test, we have a test type being defined because X-Ray can import or work with three types of tests, manual, generic, and cucumber, which is your BDD test. I'll show you them when I import them, right? Then we have priority. We have the actions defined for signing up like entering the name, phone, city, and clicking on the sign up button. I'm providing some data. I'm also defining the test type of test, which is a mandatory field, and the profile, and following that I have the results window. Now it is dependent on you, whether you would like to import labels, you want to import release versions or anything else like environment, etc. You can go on adding the columns also to tell you that the column names are not typically supposed to be the same as that. If you have made any typos in the labels here, no problem, because Jira, while importing it, will still ask you what you want what do you mean by each column, right? So, we are ready. All you must do is to make sure that when you click on Save As, you just go here. You save it as CSV. Again, save it as a comma delimited format because that's what you need to perform the necessary import, right? So, that's it. We are pretty much ready with this. Let's go back here and let's make sure we have saved it. Then we jump onto our X-Ray instance. Now here I'll be using one of these options. For example, let's go to the testing board. Click on the test case importer option. Okay, I'll be using this option on the testing board called test case importer. And it will take me to the test case import wizard of X-Ray. And right here, we'll just follow the stepwise process and continue importing them. So let's click on import CSV. You must browse the file where you have saved your file and, again, do not touch this, because your CSV is anyways UTF-8, and CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. Your delimiter is a comma in your file. Click on the next here, and they're asking you, which project would you like to import it? I'm importing it into my post project and just click on next. In case you're importing any kind of date and time, then you can also define the format of date and time here to do that. If you'd like to capture them in the repository or organize them, then you can enable this and add the repository. But right now, just keep it simple and sound and click on next. Now this is the most important part of your import process, where you must map all the information in the Excel to that of the X-Ray that are JIRA fields. Now, the issue ID and some examples will be displayed to you. In case you forgot what you wrote in your Excel sheets, this will remind you of what exactly your issue ID is all about. So, I'll just map them the same. Right. So, if you see here, it says X-Ray Field. Thus, it's not going to tap into your JIRA basic filter issue type. Again, as we have not mentioned anything in the issue type, we'll just keep it empty. We will not map this field if we just come back here. If you see my issue type is empty. So, I'm not going to map it at all. Now, the summary is something that is important for any issue type, so I'll just capture it. Then, the test type is manual. Again, we have not included this in our fields at the issue level. First, because while you create a new test, this field does not appear. It only appears after creating a test, so this would conflict with your import. Do not map this field priority. Okay, so you may ask me a question that Okay, then why have you written it, if there's no point in importing it? Of course, because you can always ask your administrator to publish this field on the issue creation page itself, and that would be required at that time, right? So I'm just keeping it to make sure that, you know, how to prepare your data and not get stuck there. 
Now let's continue, I'll just search for action. Can you see it? These are X-ray test step fields and mandatory. I'm importing the same way for the data X-ray step field, and the type of test is my type of test, again which I created an extra test step field, and then we have the profile. My field name is the user profile. Now this is a wonderful example to tell you that your column name in Excel does not matter how you have written it, but it should be relevant so that it's easy for you to link them, right? But here, if you see my extra field name is the user profile through my Excel sheet name or the column name is profile, right? And that's it. We are good to go. And again, the same example here, we mentioned as a result in our Excel and in X-Ray, it is called that expected result. So, if you're all clear here, we are done. Let's go ahead and begin the import, and the import will happen. I think so. Okay, we got stuck here. What did we miss? The test type is this data, 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 data. Okay, I'm not sure what we went wrong with. All right, let's try once again. Okay, let's quickly check this. Just type, not present. I understand. I think we just made a quick mistake in doing the mapping. Let's try once again. So, team, this could be a good troubleshooting for us because let's screw check, 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 check. Now it doesn't seem there's an issue here. Let's save it. Let's try it once again. And this time I'm just importing the file. Click on next. The project is my first project. Next issue ID goes to issue ID. The issue type is empty, so there's no point mapping it. Let's not map this. Summary is summary, test type is test type is not required, again, because we don't need them, and priority is priority, action is going to be action, data is going to be data, type of test is type of test, and profile is user profile, and this is the expected result. Now what's wrong here? You got the test type that we cannot publish while creating it, and the issue type is not necessary because we are importing test cases directly. Okay, everything seems good. We can import once again. What's wrong with this? Let's try again. It says X-ray test type is not present, but I'm not mapping this. Okay, let's try this one more time by mapping it. Okay, I think we should be good. Let's see. All right, I think we just made a small mistake there by importing them. Let's click on these two issues. These are imported. You can even go back to your filter there, or you can just click on two issues to see them right here. If you see exactly, we got test one sign up validation, test two sign up validation, and these are 38 and 39 created right now. And we have got the priority as high. If you remember, our Excel sheet also has the priority as high. Now let's open one of them and see what exactly the test contains. If you click on the test here, you will find the steps relevant to that. And again, it is up to you if you would like to import assignees, labels, components, etc. And if you see inside this, yes, we have four steps. Enter the name as this, enter the password as this, the test is valid, right? The phone number and the city are here. And then we got the final step here, clicking on the sign up button, right? And similarly, if we go to step two, that is test two, this should be for the second test. And here we got our results in the test case. So this is what the test type is, right? We were talking about manual, generic, and cucumber. When you click on the create button, you don't see this field, you see only the summary component. So one of your administrators should publish this here at the creation. So if you don't have a field at the creation, you should not map it, right? What we were going wrong with is we were not giving them the issue type itself. The issue type is test. Thus, we should map this, right? And this one is the second one with its test steps. Here we got, for example, Mumbai and click on the sign up button, etc. I hope that pretty much makes sense and helps you to import a lot of your test cases, whatever you would like to import. And that certainly gives you great confidence in saving a lot of your time while importing the data. Be careful concerning your test case data. I implemented some defects and the test case import failed. Thus, a good preparation of the test case data in Excel, for instance, 
is the key to a successful test case import. This is a direct import of the test cases through X-Ray. Test management shouldn't be a burden to your team. That's why over 10 million testers and 10,000 companies in 135 countries worldwide trust X-Ray to deliver the highest quality products faster than ever before. Break the silo between testing and development, integrate them under the same tool set with X-Ray for Jira, and Nucida supports you to achieve that. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our certified QA experts will reply in time, or even produce a separate video about your topic. Please also check out our other over 200 videos about software quality. Happy testing! See you next time!